So since we all started the conversation off in yesterday's video revolving around the competitive meta and things that I would like to see changed moving forward in the next set of balance changes to some of the weaker brawlers in the game currently, if you guys haven't checked that video out, make sure you do so because in that video, I promised you all this video today, the polar opposites, the brawlers that I think desperately need a nerf moving forward once this next set of balance changes rolls around the corner. Now, fair warning, there's definitely not as many nerfs required as much as buffs that we went over yesterday um, but I feel like there's definitely a few brawlers and I'm sure you guys know a couple of them that definitely need a good old nerf hammer so hope you guys are all pumped up let's get straight away into it here we go Now, much like yesterday, we have a few different brawlers that definitely need some attention from the Brawl Stars dev team in this next set of balance changes, as well as a few different wildcard picks, a total of two that aren't as bad as the really, really good brawlers, but I could see possibly getting a nerf once the balance changes do come around. So first, let's start off with the two brawlers that I have in my wildcard slots. The very first one is Poco. Now, a few videos ago, or I should say a few weeks ago, we were explaining some of the most broken brawlers in the meta. Uh, and I mentioned Poco then and I'm not gonna lie not a lot has changed since then to Poco but I feel like it's unfair to say Poco is the inherently broken brawler like he's up there with the greats in the meta the only reason Poco is incredibly good in any meta is him following the certain brawlers that he clicks with in 3v3s for example like your Rosas and your Daryls and since we're in a meta where those brawlers are really really good Poco is going to jive with them and be insanely broken but if you compare him to like how good he is in solo game modes he is god awful in solo game modes not saying that he needs a nerf in the next set of balance changes but just acknowledging how good he is right now because of the brawlers that are good in the meta if you nerf those brawlers he's going to get very very much so indirectly nerfed and not be as good so as for our next wild card slot that's going to be going to our robot friend Tick. Um, Tick is one of those brawlers where if you find the map that he's good on with crazy choke points and you use him and you abuse him on that map, it's going to be really hard to play against it. And I'm not going to lie, I feel like the whole experience of Brawl Stars playing against Tick would go down a little bit. So I don't think he needs a huge nerf whatsoever, but just a tiny little rework to make the experience of playing Tick a little bit more fun, as well as the experience of playing against Tick not as much of a headache. So I think a really good change for him would be one, make the blast radius of Tick's mines on the ground a tiny bit bigger, but the duration of how long they stay there a little bit shorter. So basically they balance each other out just a little bit so he can still dish off that consistent poke damage and fend for himself if brawlers are starting to get in close, but not necessarily just like spamming it out on one spot, hoping that you get a little bit of chip damage and not letting people into their lanes. I know that's kind of like the design of tick and what he's meant to do like close off choke points and stuff like that but i feel like at the duration that it's at right now it's just a little bit too crazy so make sure to let me know what you guys are thinking about tick i'm genuinely curious about what you guys are thinking about his general mechanics do you enjoy playing with him and things along those lines okay guys so we're rounding the corner to the top three the big dogs of the meta the brawlers that are standing at the top leaps and bounds above the brawlers that i talked about previously already in today's video like I'm talking there's a big big gap um, but number three is going to be Rosa now I wanted to put Rosa a bit higher um, but I feel like the other two brawlers are a bit better in these solo game modes um, Rosa has a little bit more of a trickier time in like these showdown events she stinks in uh, takedown and Lone Star probably shouldn't run uh, her there either but in 3v3s my goodness she is a freaking force to be reckoned with basically in every single 3v3 game mode you can run her as the aggro brawler on your team and make it work um, if you have the combo poco rosa you are not going to be beat if you are somewhat proficient with those brawlers it's kind of crazy to be honest but yeah rosa ever since she's been released inside the game i feel like she's been incredibly OP. She's a tankier unit and inherently the tankier unit should be countered by the shotgunners but Rosa is kind of a soft counter to the shotgunners with her super so it's kind of this weird thing that we face with Rosa where she's not being countered by the brawlers that she should be and she's devastating to so many other brawlers. It's pretty insane and it just boils down to really OP mechanics. Her shield, her uh, super, 
absolutely insane and she has relatively good star powers really good health really good dps it is not much holding rosa back at this point <laughs> So there's definitely a few things rolling through my mind about what I would change about Rosa when it comes to the nerfs, hopefully in the next set of balance changes, but some of the more simple ones, one that comes to mind is definitely a health reduction so that those brawlers that should be hard countering or just kind of soft countering or any kind of countering Rosa um, would have an easier time doing that. Maybe a shotgunner can pop her twice instead of three shots, maybe a bull. I'm not sure how many shots it exactly takes Rosa or a bull to kill Rosa or anything like that, but just making it a little bit easier easier to take her out quickly before she has time to pop that shield or anything like that really the only shotgunner that stands a chance is shelly just cycle super on the rosa but other than that you just tank everything you tank every single bit of damage coming in um but i'm rambling about it you guys know my disdain for rosa but another change that i'd make to her would be an attack range decrease if you guys have played with rosa you know how weird her um attack radius is it feels like a primo punch but it goes a little bit longer and like once you get within range of someone they can't leave you have no hopes of getting away unless you have a little bit mobility it's kind of like clunky and it feels a little bit weird on her i feel like she definitely should have the same range if not a little bit less than primo i think that'd be a solid nerf now a little bit more of an advanced nerf that i think would be really interesting on rosa would be decreasing the super duration quite substantially so it's not a long running super so you wouldn't hit the super and then carry out an action so like in brawl ball you kick the ball use your super and then walk up to it and just walk it in it'd be more of like a timing thing it brings skill into the character so for example if you think a shelly is going to come in on you and going to super you you hit that super for maybe you have like like three seconds of um, health reduction or I should say just damage reduction excuse me um, or maybe like two seconds so it's a more reactionary thing I don't know I'm definitely getting into more of a rework to Rosa rather than a nerf but I feel like it's a little bit interesting more more skill based gameplay with Rosa I think that'd be a lot of fun but moving on to number two the other big dog the second big dog of the meta and that is Carl guys Carl is freaking crazy still Carl ever since he was released in game has been a nightmare he is so good <laughs> now the reason we ranked Carl a little bit higher than Rosa is because he's pretty dang good in some solo game modes and can be played on basically every single 3v3 um, but there is kind of a caveat to Carl I feel like he is much better maxed out so if you have him a little bit lower in power level but still he is still a really solid brawler if you take a look at some of his mechanics he has decent reload speed really good DPS he has a lot of health and mobility with his super and on top of that if you have his star power specifically the second one with a shield that reduces 40% damage coming in so if you really take a look at that mechanic you have increased mobility so you can carry out an objective whether that be pick up gems or go in on a gem carrier or get to a specific location on the map whether that be like um, defending your goal quickly you can use the mobility as well as you can literally go in on basically anyone so he's got literally everything you need for a brawler which is why he's so good in the meta and has been good it's the same reasoning as rosa his mechanics are freaking incredible so i think a really appropriate nerf to car would be the thing that i think made him really op in the meta right now and that is a reduction to his shield star power you can't reduce the duration because it's the duration of the super um, but if you reduce the um, damage coming in so maybe instead of 40 maybe like 30 if you really want to nerf it like 25 you never know but i feel like that's pretty dang good because i think there is a pretty big difference between carl with star power the second one and no star power so around the corner to the number one spot the big dog the best brawler in the entire meta and i'm not gonna lie i feel very very confident saying this and that is daryl guys daryl is exceptional on basically every single game mode solo or 3v3 he's an excellent ball scorer you can play him not as a ball scorer in brawl ball he is really good in gem grab as an aggro he is one of the best in heist he's decent on siege literally every 3v3 bounty 
iffy. It depends on the map. <laughs> I, I should say every 3v3, but you can still play them in Bounty. But then when it comes to the solo game modes, when you compare Carl and Rosa, like the top three best brawlers in the game, Daryl is the best in the solo game mode standing alone. One of the best solo game mode brawlers in general in the entire game. He is insanely good on showdown with that self-regenerating super. You just roll in on a squishy brawl, you take them out, take their power cubes, you get to roll and you just keep recycling that super. Lone Star. He is broken in Lone Star. You camp in a bush, wait for that super to charge up, and you do the same thing you would in Showdown. And really, he's not that bad in Takedown either. He's just as good as any other tank would be like a bull. Um, just not like a Colt or a Pam level in Takedown. So Daryl, definitely crazy right now. Really crazy. So I would say leave his health the same. I like him better as more of a tankier assassin in the meta, but decrease his attack. He definitely has enough DPS when he's right on top of someone if you execute a super a roll in on someone then you can be rewarded with that crazy pop damage um, but other than that the chip damage at a long distance is kind of annoying and pretty dang good and in the last set of balance changes we already saw a second star power reduction from 35% to 30%, so I think that is okay. But yeah, guys, that concludes our list for today's video, the best brawlers in the meta currently that could receive a nerf once that next set of balance changes rolls around. But like I said before, time for our honorable mentions at the end of the video today. So I have two different brawlers that I think could get a nerf moving forward. And the very first one is one of the newest brawlers, B. I feel like my first initial impressions of B is she's a bit strong. She feels really, really good in multiple different team comps and a lot of different game modes, both 3v3 and solo. But I feel like time will tell if she does deserve a nerf moving forward. I would say leave her alone for now. And then if she's really good in the next meta, then maybe deserving of a nerf moving forward. And then the other one is another brawler that I feel like is kind of under the radar. And that is Sandy, where he fits into so many different game modes he's just that brawler that you feel comfortable that's on your team he's really really good in solo game modes and really really good in 3v3s but it's just under that radar of those reigning three at the top so we'll have to see how he does in the meta next meta i don't think he needs a nerf right now but time will tell once again as you all know in the last set of balance changes his first star power got a pretty substantial nerf to the damage that it deals it does like 140 damage per second which is pretty good um, but just not against the tankier units which the meta is dominated by but if the meta changes to some weaker units and stuff like that i feel like that star power could be really really good um but we'll have to see time will tell so yeah guys hopefully you all enjoyed the video today make sure to leave in the comments down below what you're thinking about this list i feel like the dialogue on these types of videos are very very good and very constructive so i really appreciate you guys commenting on these types of videos so um with that being said make sure to keep having fun with brawl stars everyone and we will see you in the next video Peace out.